Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane as we revisit the iconic coming-of-age film that captured the hearts of audiences in 1973, American Graffiti. It's been almost five decades since this classic hit the silver screen, and in this video we'll be uncovering the fascinating transformations of the American Graffiti cast then and now, Ron Howard as Steve. Steve is your average kid. He delicately tries to tell his girlfriend, Lori, that they should date other people when he leaves for college. Steve is trying to find himself, and Lori doesn't think he needs to go 3,000 miles away to do that. This role is Ron Howard's precursor to Richie Cunningham in Happy Days. And if you're a fan of Happy Days or even younger Ron as Opie on The Andy Griffith Show, we have great deep dives for both legendary TV shows for you to check out next. As we all know, Ron became one of the best directors in the biz, leading such greats as Apollo 13 in 95 and Frost Nixon in 2009. The actor is currently developing his 1,988-directed film Willow into a Disney Plus series, still starring the great Warwick Davis as Willow with several other projects in the works that he is executive producing. Charles Martin Smith as Terry Fields. Terry the Toad Fields is pretty nerdy and socially awkward. Terry is the one driving Steve's slick ride around town when he spots Debbie walking all alone. After a flirty conversation, Debbie and Terry spend the night cruising until the sun comes up. Charles Martin Smith began acting in 1971 with a role in The Brady Bunch during season three. American Graffiti was the first of two films in which Smith and Ron Howard appear together. They also star in the western The Spikes Gang, opposite Lee Marvin, in 74. Beginning in 1979, Smith devoted almost three years to filming Never Cry Wolf. The actor stated, I was much more closely involved in that picture than I had been in any other film, not only acting but writing and the whole creative process. This led him to direct films of his own. Smith went on to direct the initial episode that launched the hit TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer in 1997. That same year, he directed the hugely successful Disney film Air Bud. Today, Smith is 69 years old and has continued to work steadily in huge films, writing and directing Dolphin Tale 1 and Amp 2. Mackenzie Phillips as Carol Morrison. Carol Morrison is a pretty advanced for her age preteen who hops in that gorgeous yellow coupe and unexpectedly turns John Milner's night from cruising around the town to babysitting. It's great fun to watch. When the group of girls pulls up next to them, the water balloon they chuck at Carol was scripted to hit the car and splash Phillips, however, it smacked her square in the face. The laughing, ad-libbed scene that follows was kept in the final cut by George Lucas. He really directed and edited this film beautifully. Mackenzie Phillips began acting in 1952. Her role in American Graffiti helped gain her attention in the entertainment biz. She later appeared alongside Valerie Bertinelli in the smash hit show One Day at a Time. Fans then caught her on the Disney Channel Supernatural series So Weird in 1999. If you recognize her name, that's because Phillips is the daughter of Mamas and the Papa singer, John Phillips. Her life hasn't been easy, though, growing up fully enveloped in the lifestyle of fame. For more on the troublesome relationship between Mackenzie and her father, which would become drug-fueled and even sexual, You'll need to watch our Forgotten Child Stars of the 1970s episode. She has made extraordinary strides in her adult life to become the successful woman she is today. Harrison Ford is Bob Falfa. Bob Falfa is a bold out-of-towner looking to race John in his famous Ford Coupe. Harrison was asked to cut his hair for the film, but he refused and offered to wear a hat instead. He was reportedly arrested one night after a bar fight and kicked out of his motel room during filming. Interesting fact. His scenes were cut from the original theatrical release, but reinserted for a re-release following the success of Star Wars. Most fans know Ford best as part of the bigger rebellion, like Han Solo in George Lucas's far-out sci-fi epic Star Wars. Set designer Roger Christian claims he added the pair of dice hanging in the Millennium Falcon due to American graffiti. Ford's character had a skull hanging from his rearview mirror, while Ron Howard had the fluffy dice. Harrison is one of the greats for sure also championing the Indiana Jones franchise. Fans can expect a new Indiana Jones film slated for a June 30th, 2023 release. He's also starring in the series Shrinking alongside famous actor Jason Segel currently. Richard Dreyfuss as Kurt Henderson. Kurt Henderson has to figure out what he wants out of life. 
Is college the answer? Henderson is a bit anxious and innocent and finds comfort with his best friends. Kurt's relatable and has an eventful night. With a brief side-by-side -side encounter with a blonde that shook him to getting involved with a street gang, Dreyfus is alive in this role. Richard Dreyfus began acting in 1964. He first worked the television circuit for about a decade until George Lucas noticed his talent. After Dreyfus's audition for American Graffiti, George Lucas gave him the choice of either Kurt or Terry. The following year in 1974, Dreyfus played the leading role in The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz. The 80s brought fans the timeless Stand By Me and in the 90s, Mr. Holland's Opus. Despite being one of the many greats in acting, Richard Dreyfus has been known to clash with others. The actor battled with Robert Shaw on the set of 1975's Jaws and actor Bill Murray while filming What About Bob? Yet, Dreyfus has a different account saying Murray was an Irish drunken bully, getting in his face and screaming, Everyone hates you. You are tolerated. Today, Dreyfus is 75 years old and currently has several projects in the works. Cindy Williams as Laurie Henderson. Laurie is Kurt's little sister and the current girlfriend of Ron's character. In real life, Ron Howard is actually seven years younger than Cindy Williams. Cindy Williams and Ron Howard together journeyed to happy days. Williams guest starred as Shirley Feeney, transforming her character's success into eight seasons of Laverne and Shirley. She's been quiet in TV and film in recent years, only holding minor roles. However, she had been very much into theater. Cindy Williams made her Broadway debut in 2007's The Drowsy Chaperone, succeeding in a role originated by the late Georgia Engel. Sadly, she died in January 2023 at the age of 75 after a brief illness. Candy Clark is Debbie Dunham. Debbie Dunham was the blonde who hopped alongside Toad for a night they'd both remember fondly. Candy actually received a supporting actress Oscar nom for the role, but lost out to a 10-year-old Tatum O'Neill for Paper Moon. Many will remember Candy starring alongside David Bowie in 1976's The Man Who Fell to Earth. Today she's 75 and still acting. Clark last appeared in an episode of Twin Peaks in 2017 and the film Five Weddings in 2018. If you enjoyed this exploration into the past and present of the American Graffiti cast, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more cinematic content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future adventures in film history. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic ride.